Who is this? I'm farting. Right. Welcome to another episode of the Pink Boys Crypto Cast. And I don't know if I had a bad dream or I hit my head or something, but I had the, I had the weirdest dream that there was a girl talking to us last week or something. What was that all? <laughs> Wake up, girl. Man. Wake up. A girl. Yeah. yeah what, what's his name? <laughs> <laughs> The truth is, Moya, you're in what? a coma right now, and we're trying this new method where we're, we're tapped right into your brain, and we're yeah. communicating through you. You're well, trying uh, to get me to wake up? Yeah, wake up. Yeah, wake up, wake up, wake up. Just to be, just to be clear, though, we you were all talking. You crashed into an elementary school like two months ago, and you've been in a coma Yeah, since. it's a Dodge Charger. <laughs> I was just blown away that a, a woman volunteered an hour and a half of her time to talk to us last week. So let's let's all give a round of applause. We're we're really go, really uh, moving along here. I think uh, Tyson's pickup artist tactics have been working. So. <laughs> 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 you just hold frame, bro. Yeah, later, Logistically, later you can get the women. <laughs> <laughs> amazing amazing so just real quick be before we get moving i didn't get to do it last week maybe i did it the week before i can't remember but housekeeping we're getting a little closer actually we're quote unquote 80 percent of the way there to 100 subscribers and once we do that we'll do i don't know a a, a what is that a 20 link giveaway something like that the so the, and the heck in 100 subs arena yeah, yeah. and we're, we're getting there and Adam made a good point is if, if you have the opportunity to be given link and sell it, you can have that cathartic experience yeah, that free. we can't give ourselves. Yeah, for free. He does it for free. So yeah. <laughs> that would be amazing. But before I keep going. Oh, actually, uh, we'll, also one more thing. Yeah, go ahead. Um, lads, we also have a clips channel. So if you guys want some mm. short clips of our content, go to yeah. Pink Boys Clips in just our the best, channel. Just the, just, just the best bits. Yeah. That is true. Just that is true. Bits, On yeah. topics such as dogs are cringe and cats are based, or exactly. getting or groomed. Yeah, that's true, episode. By the way. yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's yeah. great. Yeah, I forgot to mention that, but we do we do have a clips channel, and I guess it's linked to our existing channel as well. So definitely check that out. Because um, especially since you've been listening kind of recently, there's like some older stuff in there when we were when we were young and you know naive. Young and the market was still naive. off. Yeah, about ten days. weeks ago. <laughs> exactly. You start so, a few months ago. The fuck. You before I get going, some more. I, just, I gotta. I gotta. You know, it's a. It's a rough time of year, and uh, it's. It's tough for everyone. Whether you're running around doing whatever, New Year's, Christmas, all that stuff. But how how are you guys doing? You guys are doing all right, or what? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I feel like shit, dude. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no feel one. Like shit. Just want to back. <laughs> Dude. Oh no! It's only been a week. No, my country is like <laughs> fucking retarded. I, I know. <laughs> my country is like fucking retarded with this uh, vaccine that's shit. True. I literally that's can't true. go. I can't even get a fucking haircut because I need a, a vaccine passport or some shit. Oh no! And not now the in the news, haircut to Reno. Now yeah. in the news, <laughs> take your they jab. Want, they want to make like a a third jab and a fourth jab like mandatory. So it's like holy shit. Oh, shit, man, I need my fade, Sorry. man. I need my fade. Sorry, you need a vac so your boyfriend can uh, shave your private parts for you, Tyson. But it'll yeah. just have to wait. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, I'm actually interested to see that what comes along with that as well over here because starting the city that I live in, starting January 3rd or something like that, I won't be able to eat anywhere indoors at any location unless I show that I have taken the the vaccine. So that's pretty can much the imagine, only. Can you just imagine, like, um, you can eat, but you have to have spaghetti for breakfast. There's nothing. There's no other choice. <laughs> oh hell yes! <laughs> that is that's all you get. That's what you get. Now we're talking. Now we're fucking. Which way, talking. Italian man? <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> but it's driving me crazy because literally the only reason left to be living in a major city in the U.S. is because. I'm not trying to be I, I'm I'm not trying to be Reddit or anything, but the food is better in major cities. New York City, Philadelphia, stuff like that. There's just better places to go. Philadelphia cheesesteak. 
Get one of your yeah. Philly <laughs> cheesesteaks, boy. Even beyond that, even beyond that. It's not just like you can just go to Bonefish Fish Grill and Chili's and like think you're having a night out, but whatever. I'll I'll shelve that for now, but I got to make some make some decisions about where I want to live in the future. But anyways, I mean, that's not the only terrible thing to happen to me lately. So I guess we'll we'll pile it on a little bit because today oh, yeah, I find wow. out. Yeah, today I found out that I am minus ten thousand dollars in my investment. And I wish I lost it the old fashioned way. I wish like some shit coin that I was holding just went down or I got rugged by a <laughs> dev boom or something like that. But I found like, out I, I had what? The traditional way, like embrace yeah, the and reject modernity. The, the good old fashioned way you can be like, well, that's what happens. But instead, it looks like a hacker got into an uh, DeFi auto compounder that I was using in the early stages for my tomb LP. So basically what happened was you take your tomb and your phantom, you split it in half, you do the classic thing, you make an LP, then you put it in this auto compounder that takes whatever's emitted from the LP, reinvests it directly into your initial, and it's supposed to be like, you know, it's it's kind of, it's, I mean, I would say it's a decent way to just have safe growth without, safe. it's set it in for Safe Reddit. ain't on safe. Yeah, well, safe, compared to other things. It, it felt like a good set it and forget it thing, because I was like, ah, whatever, it's it's eight or 10 grand, it's not, it's not the end of the world. And then, uh, I went on today and I found out I saw the T share prices of Tomb just plummet. And it's because that auto compounder, which is a third party site to Tomb, was hacked by some nice. hacker. He he pulled twenty four million dollars out of the fund and based. just pocketed so all of it. Market market swapped it, bridged it, did whatever he had to do, and now everyone's just screeching in the Tomb Discord like, "Harry, give me my money back!" Like, I said, "Do endorse this, blah 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 blah." And like, I only had that money in there to like be helpful to the protocol and like create buy pressure on tomb oh, if it were right. me, you I were in it for the tech okay we've heard this cope so many that, times i no, i was just being a, an altruistic uh contributor to the platform by having a little bit of money in there and it you turns out being I, a liquidity pro a liquidity provider to uh to someone else's short position a free. except <laughs> it the short a free. position was a base hack arena i guess so and what happened was someone just, just rolled lost. up I lost a bit go of money ahead. as well. I'm not even salty. It's like, if you can scam like 20 mil from this, go for it, dude. Yeah, like, I would if I could. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, just like fucking, if you can get if you can get away with that, then just crack on, man. Just don't take my linkies. Oh, wait, you don't even want them. So, Well, the way uh, I look at it is Tomb is a subset of the Phantom ecosystem, and Phantom is already a niche L1 trading platform. So I'm trading a subset of a niche altcoin using a third party auto <laughs> compound. Like, there aren't many more layers of extraction that I can go through before I'm literally asking someone to please. Yeah, somewhere me. somewhere along mind. the way, the dev a uh, dev fucked up for sure. <laughs> no, somewhere along the way, I might have been better off just falling for a Nigerian scam. <laughs> like the <laughs> getting like very <laughs> So when I lost, like, if I had all that money in Link and I, like, lost 10 grand and it plummeted, I think I would have been more angry because this was just kind of like, well, what did you expect? It's like a glitchy, shitty website that has, like, a store where you can buy, like, underwear with a Reaper on it. Like, I don't know what I expected <laughs> to happen to my money. But it's, I will say, it's a good rite of passage. I mean, I've never been hacked before. I've never been hacked in crypto before. And I, I feel like now it's just another part of the journey, I guess. And never, you never, never got... You never got goxed, my friend. Exactly. Think, think exactly. about it this way. At least you didn't go retard mode and put like a hundred grand into it, right? Oh uh, yeah. Could have been exactly. a lot worse. And there were some people on the Discord that did. And the, oh, the thing God. is, to me, no, no, no. one of the first things I thought was like, if this were three or four years ago before I got into crypto, I'd be like, well, I have to go live on the streets now because I just lost my entire life savings. But now, <laughs> because because of this bullshit, losing 10 grand is now just like, eh, you had a bad day. I just like went to McDonald's and ate it off and that's it. And I'll just sleep soundly tonight and hit it back again tomorrow. So, you, you know. Can you, 
can you have a bad day tomorrow, but give that into my account as opposed to the hacking account? <laughs> That'd be really nice are, of you. Are you trying to reveal that you're the hacker or a future hacker? <laughs> Something like that. You know, we'll, we'll, let, we'll let the fucking investigators work it out step by step. With my Dude, speaking, of, place, uh, speaking of losing 10 grand, I made an interesting purchase uh, last night. Oh, yeah, uh, like Dragon Dildo? <laughs> um, I, I think I just purchased a Rolex. <laughs> no, online. Yeah, yeah. Didn't even go into the store. Uh, no, I went to a store to buy it. All oh, right, okay, right. You yeah. need a G shirt. <laughs> yeah, why not a G shirt? <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I was feeling like I, I was gonna either buy like a fucking uh, Nissan Skyline or or a car. Oh, and... that's a bit more than ten grand, dog. Yeah, and I was you like, fuck it, Skyline. I'll, I'll just get a Rolex, you know? Because I you fucking just bought... take, I take Uber everywhere anyway, and I don't feel like. I don't like fucking driving. You don't even have a license. Okay, let's not even get into that. Oh, let's not even get into that. <laughs> Wait, he doesn't? No, he drives a car without a fucking license. Oh my god. Right, let's not get into this. Uh... <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. No, well, I want to get into what Tyson was talking about earlier. So, are you just going to be a flex god now or something? Like, is that your move? Are you going to rap now or what is going on here? <laughs> Hun and roll on my just, wrist. I'm just going to fucking put it on my wrist and see what happens. Walk, oh down the, walk down the homeless homeless aisle in the street. Oh my god! You know what you should do uh, is just like, my arm. <laughs> did you tell your Did you tell any of your roommates yet? No, I'm gonna show it to them as a surprise. Just walk, walk in the room, one morning. like yeah, just like how's it going, guys? Just like light from the watch <laughs> shining. And they point a torch at your watch. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Actually, it's funny. You just remind me of something in my own in uh, in Philly. <laughs> There's been a rash of robberies of people with Rolexes. <laughs> they literally just roll up to people on the street and just hold out a gun and be like, give me your Rolex. And it's happened to like three people in the last like month or two. So Jesse Smollett maybe style. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, reverse Jesse Smollett. So that's probably going to happen to you soon or something like that. But I'm proud of you. Hopefully it got checked properly and it's not just a like, did you get it from a legit website or? It's from a dealer, yeah. He went in, yeah, he went in and he bought one. Um, do you want to tell us know. the model? Yeah, it's on. a Rolex uh, day date 40 millimeter. Wait, hold on. No, hold on, hold on. How much was it? It was 15 US. 15,000 $15. US? Yeah. Nah, $15. <laughs> All right, so while we're... While we're talking about this, um, I have one that I always wanted to get, and it's called the, um... Shit, I'm looking at it right now. Ooh. Yeah, it's called the Rolex. The Rolex it's Celine. It is pre-owned, though, by the way. That's okay. Is if it... it looks good, if it looks chill, it's, you know. So how much is, like, uh, regular retail? Uh, 30-something. Nice, dude. Nice. Still. Dude. Yeah. Did you, oh, so it's used? So you got a used Rolex. It's like a condom, right? It's like, ugh. I don't care. Don't worry about it's that on... fucking Rolex. What? Uh, you know, on... <laughs> Uh, that's kind of cringe, but that's okay. Uh, I'm happy nah, for you. it's based. It's based. I've always wanted. So mine is the Rolex Cellini Date Blue because blue is my Ooh, favorite that's, color. That's nice. And I literally could have got that with the ten grand I lost today. So whatever. I mean, it's a fifteen grand watch, but you know what I mean. But I'm not a watch guy. I literally don't wear a watch. I would literally just wear it just to be like a flexor, and that's retarded. So once you're doing that, you're just kind of losing the plot. But I'm proud of I you. Wanna, I want to go into a Rolex store and have the like the guys there. Um, give me like a proper tour of everything. Show me their most expensive watches. A consultation. Only, yeah, a consultation. Only for me to be like, oh, what's the most expensive watch? And they show me, and I'm like, damn, why is it so cheap? <laughs> <laughs> and then just walk out. And then, and then you don't buy it, and you leave. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't buy it, just walk out. And then everyone claps. <laughs> dude. <laughs> okay, dude. One time, um, when I when I just first bought Link, like three years ago, right? And this is like before Link ever pumped it all. I was like so sure I was gonna make it, so I went into a fucking Rolex store when I had like two grand in my name, and I'm like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be able to afford one of these someday." And I was acting like all high and mighty to the fucking uh, store attendant, and I'm, and I'm saying like, "Yeah, I'll probably pick up one of these," and he's like, "Oh, certainly, sir. <laughs> Can I grab your details?" And then I pulled out my wallet every fucking time, and it was my wallet was like a fucking disaster, right? It was like ripped up. It was it looked like a fucking hobo's wallet. And the guy just like <laughs> he saw that he's like, uh, you know, I'll take your details when you come in next time. And he just pushed me out of the store. <laughs> he's like, right. you're not a link holder, are you? We've been getting a lot of those lately. 
<laughs> uh, well, Tice, so I lost 10 grand. Tyson got a new watch. It's the circle of crypto life. There you go. So yeah. that's, that's how it moves. But to move on from that, you know, let's try and get the spirits up a little bit, even though I don't think that's possible with what's going on right now. Maybe I, I'm feeling a little bit of a sentiment change for Bitcoin and ETH. Possibly, uh, I mean, I know, man. Uh, uh, it's getting I, ready for a big move. It's bounce time. There you go. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Wh which way? I big move I where? Don't, I don't fucking know at this point. Obviously, I want to. Really? I hope it's up, but uh, I so, mean, actually, no, no, no. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna say it. It's gonna okay. be up. Okay. Do you have a reason? <laughs> yeah, because um, this will be financially ruined if it's not up. Yeah. Oh, you <laughs> yeah, because my livelihood depends on it, and I am an emotional trader. And surely so, the universe would not be that cruel, right? No, exactly. <laughs> surely, surely not. You know, they um, taught me in school that go ahead. you just believe in yourself, you'll make it. <laughs> so, and I believe That's in true. myself. My teacher told me that, but then I got homeschooled really quickly and hadn't heard I'm anything gonna about believe, that. I'm believing! I'll tell you what, guys. I'll say, I'll say a real-life thing that um, maybe is indicative of where things may be going. I don't usually make technical calls. You guys are the smart ones, quote unquote, when it comes to that kind of stuff. But isn't the stoke in the Bitcoin one yeah, week yeah, it's, bottomed it's up, out? Hasn't it? hasn't it ticked up? Or is it gonna tick up next? Oh, it's bottoming week. out on the three day. Okay. okay. And so it's, the weekly okay. not so much yet, but the three day looks pretty good. So I think there's more room for it to fall on the one week stoke. So then after that, I, I, I'm, all I'm saying is that if there is a bottom, we're very close to it right now. I don't think there's going to be a 30K suicide plunge, especially since I think traditional markets are going to stop sharding in the mart over the next few weeks after cr coming up to Christmas. Yeah. So, and that's the reason why Bitcoin's been having so much problems lately is I watched it yesterday. The second 9.30 a.m. happened, U.S. Eastern time, Bitcoin crashed because the S&P 500 opened up down. So yeah. we're doing that fucking, we're like trading barbs with that bullshit these days. So yeah, well, true. you guys have to realize like the stoke is a lagging indicator and the move in the market happens before the stoke predicts it, right? So it can easily pump up from here and create the bottom before the stoke tells it. It's just more of like a guideline. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Uh, I just wanted to say, uh, add, um, the uh, weekly Bollinger Bands are tightening, which tends to indicate there is a move coming i mean we already knew that but if it's on the True. weekly then no yeah. we didn't we're not all reading your mind so no, yeah we if, can it's the, it. if it's on the weekly then um, extrapolate please it's, it's a pretty <laughs> substantial one um uh so on the weekly the bollinger bands are tightening like a butthole and when they <laughs> tighten like that they tend to like kind of go poof, and then when they way. expand like the ghosting. thing is that we're, we're um we're um we're actually below, I think it's the 21 EMA they use, isn't it? Is it? Um, we're below that. So I guess, um, like, oh, Jesus, yeah. We could just drop down further. Like, that's probably more likely, to be honest. I don't know. I think that there was like such overwhelming, like, annoying bear sentiment over the last few weeks. I was kind of starting to feel like I wanted to counter trade that. So, hmm. Yeah, I you mean... know, I, I came across this interesting, um, interesting thought when I was joining a couple of crypto Twitter spaces recently. <clears throat> and um, okay. this idea was yeah. um, okay. you have to think about like who who's left in terms of market participants, right? Because mm. you had your mom. So so this, this theory is like um, um, actually Ari's mom was the one getting raw dog on the side of the street. <laughs> and um, okay. I was the one initiating it. And uh, oh. <laughs> okay, keep going. No, no, it's, it's it, the guy just basically said, like, um, you had like perma bulls. Oh my like, god, Mrs. Tyson, up, uh... get your hands off of me right now. I'm trying to record. <laughs> Jesus, <Whoa. laughs> see, jeez, <laughs> <Sheesh. laughs> <laughs> yeah. so okay, keep you going. Had, you had perma bulls like push up the entire rally. Um, <laughs> from from 20k to 60k where they were just like long every fucking dip like no matter what like every micro dip they would still buy it and yeah, for right. the most part they, they mostly survived until they got nuked by the 30k nuke right <clears throat> yeah mm -hmm. and then another rally happened where it went from 30k 
and it rallied all the way up from 60k and they more or less did the same thing where they survived uh where they survived like being able to like long every fucking dip um the guys basically said like you have to think about who who is left over because the first set of bulls from the 20k to 60k run they got entirely wiped the fuck out with the nuke from mm. 60 to 30. yeah and now a new set of bulls were created oh i from, love yeah, um, i love a bull I from the 30 bull. to 60. so mm. these are new bulls and they might have also been wiped out by this recent nuke as well so mm. who's left over the people that are left over were people that were kind of bearish at the top and were de-risking somewhere at 60k and it kind of makes sense for them in a game theory perspective for them to to start loading up at this in this area loading up yeah oh because they were they were able to foresee that this was definitely going to to dip for sure from like 60 whatever that was at 68k they were, they were more risk averse and now the fact that bitcoin is down like 35 percent or something it, it means that they're more likely to, to be risk on for for bitcoin in the short term yeah, future that makes sense, that makes sense. Yeah. It just it, well, it's just as strange to me where the second things go down. I mean, this this crash wasn't comparable to the May one in terms of uh, size and severity, and also like length of time. That was literally just like a few painful days of just like earth shatter shattering uh, losses in May. This seemed to, like a little more sustained and consistent of of a. I guess it was just a healthier correction in a way i'm not sure but once it goes down the amount that it has why would your instinct be to sell like yeah, it doesn't exactly because you think it'll probably go down another 10 percent or something like that but that doesn't make you any smarter for selling right now because it'll obviously recover from that and if we ever see the 30s again the, the slurps will change the world like they will rock yeah. the earth's foundation like, i'm like i'm not <laughs> Like, I'm just not concerned. Like my portfolio is down probably thirty three, like uh, th uh, down thirty three percent from a couple of weeks ago. But like, I don't really care. Like I know it's gonna go back up eventually. Like, and I will never mm, make this. Cope, I will, I will cope, never make cope. I will yeah. never make the same mistake and like prematurely blow my wad in terms of like selling too early on something I'm I'm pretty convinced by. And there are a couple of projects I'm I'm pretty balls deep in. No, yeah, that I am convinced by. So, mm. like, I don't want to, um, you know, fuck that up by, you know, being a short-term fucking, you know, as to, to quote Wall Street bets, paper hands. You know, that's fucking oh, thing. shut the fuck up. To be, to be devil's advocate. <laughs> no, shut the fuck I, up. That's so... Yeah, to be devil's advocate. I'm gonna bleep I think that. that. I think it, it is going to pump, but it is a... Uh, it's a dead cat until proven otherwise. Ooh, ooh, and ooh. what would be proving it otherwise? Uh, closing above fifty four. Mm, okay, fair enough. That is very. Fair. Why is that? Why is that your level? That is my super secret uh, genius level. Right, is, it, <laughs> is it one of those like? Is it one of those giga levels that you? He's using me, like, his sneed pivots. That's what yeah, it is. Yeah, the sneed pivots. If you know, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah. You know, put together. I was on the like, name that. Ari, you seem a little bit combative. Do you disagree with the sentiment in here in the brain trust? No, I just didn't like what Adam said. Uh, what paper hands? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, we all have our off. dumb terminologies because Tyson says like really dumb shit, like ape in and like really cringy shit like that. I'm gonna, and mute, I I'm gonna, I'm gonna bleep that as well. Oh my god. <laughs> ape in this fucking Kino. It feels uh, no, 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 you no, guys are not allowed is, to use that, that game. Way too right. new. Me, saying ath, right. <laughs> me saying ath is like OG shit. Like I made yeah, that ath up. Is and that's Kino. funny. So that, that's um, fine. But you you just like copying things from like crypto Twitter and like Reddit is like really cringe, Tyson. I don't know why you do that. <laughs> <laughs> so Ari, you don't you don't have any actual creative input to combat these two. So Um oh, no, I mean I do. Okay. Go on, man. We're all waiting. Um, <laughs> well Okay, well if you guys are gonna use those words, I'll tell you this much. I think um I think Adam and Tyson specifically are. A oh shit! My God, <laughs> beautiful man. Ari, why are you so not focused, man? Can you like? I, can I you am sorry. Up? <laughs> can you up, please. I mean, Tyson I, just gave, Tyson just gave us some really good insight, and you just yeah, like, no, no, I, I didn't know what to say yeah. to that because it was okay. covered everything. Keep going, right. keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, we keep going. You're supposed yeah. to say. Yeah, what the fuck? No, but I was going to ask Tyson some questions. So, Tyson, with your with your snade pivot. Uh huh. So do they kind of show like 
like kind of resistances or just like buys on like buy uh, buying areas or they just show significant levels and yeah. they can be it depends where the price is if, if the price is above it it's support if it's if it's below it it's resistance that's how levels work yeah mm. and but like there are multiple levels so yeah oh, and in terms of your red lines on your chart because i assume they're red your sneed pivots do yellow because i'm chinese all oh, right okay um, <laughs> okay, <then. laughs> okay. Well, uh, based on that information, um, so past fifty four, it's all it's all upside. Is that what you're saying? I'd be a lot more bullish if it's if it closes above fifty four. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I can, that's fair I enough. I can easily see it, I can easily see it go, like pumping up to like fifty three or fifty four, and then getting like fucking rejected back down, and then we go back to the to the range low, which is like thirty k. There's a tr mm -hmm. that trend line that broke um, on the initial, yeah. like the big dump. That trend line is currently at around like 53.5-ish. So yeah. sounds about right, yeah. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. I just thought it was funny, Tyson, because you said like my super secret like trend lines <laughs> or whatever. It reminded me of that like dumb meme where it's like, you know, it's like the brain getting like smarter and smarter and the top one is like peer reviewed articles and then the bottom one is like it came to me in a dream. Like that would be <laughs> <laughs> And I, that's what I do like all the time in, in arguments with people. I'd be like, well, this is, I literally just imagine this and that's what I'm going with. So that's the way things <laughs> are. <from now> on. <laughs> but I'm, gl I'm glad you're sticking. I'm glad you're sticking to that. I imagine so. it. So it must be so. Exactly. And, yeah. You know what though? I would honestly listen to these three guys give recommendations because I need like a bell that I can ring or something like that to like herald in news like this, because we've done it again. We have another 10x called on the pink boys. Come on down. Uh, Obama Sonic in it. Oh, let's fucking go. No way. I think Wait, it's crashing now. It fucking 10 x again? It, no, no way. it, it, it crashed. I, I mean, it didn't crash. It, it, it crashed like halfway through its pump. But since That's we brought so it up, it did, it did more than 10x. I think it like 20x or something like that. It did something yeah. ridiculous. So. Jesus. Not only have we given our, our fans our first 10x call, we've also, we've also rug pulled them for the first time. So <laughs> when did we rug pull them? them? With okay, the same uh, I'm looking at the chart <laughs> now, one day. So that is true. It did a against Bitcoin. Like, oh, I can't be fucked to do this. Yeah, let's All just right. say 10x. It makes us look good. I yeah. mean, I did at least it did at least a ten x. So I mean, I love how I, it's just my favorite thing about that coin is tick of Bitcoin. Like, yeah, come yeah. on, it's like, that's so fucking it. good. It's funny because I went to look up the price before we started recording, and I was like, "Wait, how do I find it?" And then I was like, "Oh wait, it literally is just Bitcoin on the Poo Coin yeah. <laughs> chain." Yeah, <laughs> that's how I was able to find it. So I'm proud of you guys. That's another yeah. winner. Do you, you guys got oh, any yeah. other winners on deck or what? That aren't no. Rose and aren't Link. What well, Rose Rose fucking okay. died. You guys want to go around the horn and say what positions we're in? Okay. Yeah, why don't you give us some good ones? I mean, we're, we're, we're on a fire right now. If I didn't get fucking hacked, I'd be even more on fire, but whatever. Keep going. All right. I might have gone a bit retard mode, but okay. I entered a bunch of positions last AKA night. AKA based mode. Yeah. <laughs> so currently, I'm long on Bitcoin, ETH BTC, AVAX, Solana, Link BTC, and Ethereum. Damn! Uh, you think all you think all mm. seasons coming? I I'm just playing the dead cat. Honestly, okay. yeah, that's like 2018 blue chip season or something. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Yeah, but they're all. But the reason I said that is because they're all against BTC pairs. So um, yeah, that implies alts and. Also, can I fucking flex my AVEX call? I said I was gonna slurp it up at 83, and now it's 116. Damn. Um, Actually, I saw yesterday or a few days ago when Bitcoin was like plummeting, AVAX was just inverse, like just popping off because uh, that's the thing I don't understand, though, is like AVAX is doing really well. And I've used both platforms. I've used AVAX Trader Joe and whatever uh, Spooky Swap on Phantom. They're both just as good as each other, both just as quick and both just as efficient. But 
Phantom is like way down on the pecking order compared to AVAX. So it's either AVAX needs to drop a lot or Phantom needs to move transaction, up a lot. Transaction finality, bro. Yeah, transaction so. finality. <laughs> I, think it's just, I think it's just her turn. <laughs> <laughs> it's just AVAX's turn. Fair enough. You're not doing anything like on the ecosystem. You're just speculating on its value, right? I'm on fucking tomb like a Chad. She's well, that's on like Phantom. 500 a day. You guys are yeah. gonna get fucked one day. Yeah, those those two music, dude. The, the, I can't wait for the day don't last. where Ari puts together like a compilation like video of you like flexing your two meat, and it's just gonna be like linked with a picture of like it getting rugged from like fifteen. Like, at this point, like, you two deserve it. Yeah. Well, well given the haters fact, over here. <laughs> yeah, you guys are haters because it's not <laughs> giving out that giant APR because. I don't even know the traditional reason why DeFi, just because it's like a giant liquidity pool or something like that. It has that giant APR because T shares only print when Tomb's value is in is at a certain point in relation to Phantom. So it's not like some weird rug shit that's gonna go on someday. It is, it's just, that literally sounds like it weird will. rug shit. It's gonna get <laughs> fucked one of these days. So that, that, it, it's like it's, it sounds like weird rug shit because it's like oh look at this really weird and obscure fucking mechanism that prints money, but. You know, like, what the fuck is? Can you not see that? It's basically if the Federal Reserve worked, that's what two men. Okay, Janet Yellen, get back in your fucking box. You know, I've never hit a woman in my entire life, but if I were to be <laughs> a submissive woman with a husband that beat me, this is probably how I would talk about him. Like, no, he's fine. He's fine. Like, I literally got beat <laughs> by two today. Like, I got hacked for 10 grand today. And here I am getting on the air and just like, actually, two is still really good. Smack. Smack. Like, it's so pathetic. <laughs> Uh, it is pathetic. I think I, I think I just got beat into being a femboy tomb cuck holder. So whatever, I'm fine with it. So, and you know what? It's a good time to get that too because of the exploit on a third party site. T shares prices got a little cheaper today, and they're going to 30k within the next few months. So you better just get them now. So, and Dude, you can just print money like Tyson and I and get speaking Rolexes. Of, and speaking shit. of exploits, did you guys see that fucking uh, Ether print got hacked? Oh really? Yeah, I saw something. Like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm so you. fucking glad that I didn't get, go into that shit. Holy fuck! Wait, it got hacked? Yeah. Yeah, like really? a day after we talked about it. Oh, I, <laughs> I, I, I think like not hacked, but like something got exploited or some shit. Oh, I thought it just got rugged really hard because you sent me a link. You're like, look at this, and you circled the volume, and it said 200, and I was like, I don't get it because I thought the 200 was like 200 million. <laughs> but it was like, no, the volume in Etherprint was 200 dollars. <laughs> Damn. So how lower than you would end? <laughs> What's you end's volume? Forty grand. Wait, what say again? Forty thousand. Oh, no, no. I, you're no. like that scene from uh, what's the movie with? I get them confused with Patrick Bateman or something like that. It's like let's see American Paul. Psycho? Yeah, let's see UNN's volume. Oh, like, right, let's, yeah. let's, see, uh, let's see UNN's volume. <laughs> Impressive. Uh, Very nice. Oh my how, god. Uh, how did a coin like that get so tasteful? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the smart contracts. I will <laughs> say, I, I hate to go into that whole thing, but that original WebM of that of yeah, that the link you know, except one. chain link on a business yeah. card. That was some funny shit. Especially because if you watch it, if you watch it now, the first card that's shown has like dragon chain and shit on it. Yeah, like yeah, like fun fair and stuff. Yeah, fun fair XRB and like dragon chain is <laughs> so funny. I'm like, that is a sick wallet though. You know the funniest <laughs> one? The 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 card that was like supposed to be the second best had like fucking request token on it as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I I don't want to get into it now, but in within the next year or something, we should do an episode where we just talk about all of those coins that are just dead from like 2018. Cause I could do that forever. <laughs> I would think like bounty and shit. I mean, like that's oh, gonna be endless. Yeah. Well, that that, that <laughs> list never ends though. No, it really, really doesn't. All right. So it looks like Tyson, you're doing the whole you're basically betting on a small alt pump for some blue chips, which is very impressive. And you mentioned AVAX, and what was the other one you had? You, had, you said like Lincoln shit and AVAX, and then you said one more. Did you say Solana or what'd you say? Yep, Solana. And Lincoln really? BTC. Yeah. Yeah, oh. Solana is like, 
it has to go to a grand. Like I, I, uh, uh, you don't think so? Mm, I'm, not I'm, getting out, I'm getting out like 250. Personally, All right. 40 around Fair there. Enough. I got carried yeah. away, didn't I? I still thought it was like August. <laughs> you know what though? Dot. Dot. Mm -hmm. Dot. 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 <laughs> yeah, what, dot. What, what is dot? I forgot. Polka dot. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah well, that got, um, that got hammered. That got hammered. That was I yeah. was surprised. But I think it could be a decent buy. I can't now. wait for Link to flip Maybe. dot again. That day may never come. Though. <laughs> I remember those days. <laughs> if you think about it, polka dot would do really well if they just marketed to uh, India a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, you know that dot in your forehead? Oh, well, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Do we, are, you, are you Indian, Tyson? Are you allowed to say that? I'm allowed to say that. I'm allowed to approve it. Oh, okay, that's right. You're yeah, Indian. I, I got to approve it. Can we talk about XHV? Oh, uh, wh why? Because <laughs> it's being hammered right now, and I'm still going to be bullish on it. I think this I is going to be... Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm looking at the chart now. It's, it's just not looking. Great. Well, Kilt is. I got shield killed by a friend, and now that person's no longer my friend. It's all right. We'll have we'll have that friend on well, soon to explain asshole. for his crimes. Yeah. <laughs> for we'll have him fucking yeah. Some Nuremberg um, trial type shit. I was just following <laughs> orders. Uh. Yeah, yeah. You know okay. what though? Um, XHV. Um, cup and handle maybe kind of. Okay, that's fair key. enough. I don't know. I'm fine maybe. With that. I'm with um I'm with what Marin was saying last week, not only about R and DR, but also Kadena as well. I think those are those are poised to do sh sick shit, and I think R and DR is very quickly about to bounce back, and I'm seeing double digits like by February for sure. Well, don't say so. that. Mm -hmm. I want to jump back in, and just eat some losses on some trades I made, and because like I don't know, I'm thinking about just eating my L on the fucking kill and just like moving on. Dude, get um, out of that. There, nothing's yeah. coming from that. What what exchange is that on? Is that on Mexi or what is that? Yeah, it's on fucking Merchantile Exchange. Fucking what a cringe name. <laughs> that should have given it away. Do you Merchant, you Merchant, your, Merchant um... Exchange, please. <laughs> no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you remember your uh, your ship your ship position from ages ago? Um, I remember. How long you held that for? True, true. But I only, I only held ship because like I wanted exposure to no to normal coins, and that's the only yeah. reason why. Yeah. Okay. Like, I have no, I have no reason to and, hold kill. Well, it was, it totally wasn't to because of it. the fucking inside info. Well, no. no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys ended up being justified with that Doge shit, though. That was right, wasn't it? Yeah, no. That was Sheep. Wh um, which one? That was Sheep. That was Sheep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Actually, because R&D doesn't yeah. look that bad. It's like trying to break a trend line right now. R and DR is one of the few things that I think it's got the right logo. It's got the right, uh, I don't know. It's got the right supporters and stuff like that. But also from what I can glean about what it actually does, that's actually pretty fucking cool. You know what I mean? So, and if anyone wants to bail me out and tell me <laughs> like, repeat what it actually, don't, don't you know what it does? I, which one? I, what anything I, I was going to say something about XMR, but just real quick, just say, say what R and DR does real quick. Cut it in. Oh, oh, render. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's like a, a a GPU on the blockchain, uh, and it's kind of like for the metaverse and stuff. So like, okay, that like was rendering it, yeah. the graphics for. That was what I had in my head, but I couldn't verbalize it that way. I'm not good at talking uh, technically. But uh, yeah, did you, what, did you have anything else? I. Oh no! I just wanted to say, um, I'm just really up. I'm not upset, but I'm just disappointed in XML. <laughs> it's. Um, it's Monero. one of the best projects. Yeah, I love Monero so much. It's like every like everyone can respect Monero, and it's just, it just doesn't do anything. Like this, well, this I actually, I, definitely I'm, I'm, deserves I'm to be unpopular opinion. I don't think it should do anything because if people are gonna, like, <sighs> if people are gonna, you know, have large amounts of money in Monero, it shouldn't fluctuate all that much. If it's just a private blockchain for moving money around, um, then like I don't know. I I I think it probably should should be have as as little volatility as possible. Um, obviously a rising tide raises all ships, so if the market grows, XMR will, but in terms of, like, gigapumps and stuff, I don't think that's really on the cards. But there is yeah. a fundamental reason I mean... for Monero to rise, though. Like, didn't fucking Nancy Pelosi say that she wants to track all bank transactions with accounts that have more than six hundred dollars in it, or something. Yeah, well, that's a, that's for a meritard. Luckily, I'm not that, one of them. That didn't, and that le particular piece of that legislation didn't go through. But it is only a matter of time, and I'm going to move on to talking about it in a second. But there is, 
the fact that it hasn't happened already is just because there are a bunch of boomers that don't understand it but the fact that a normal american is able to like i shouldn't be able to print fucking five or six hundred dollars a day like sitting on my ass with tomb like they don't want that they don't want that so yeah, yeah. They're going, I, I, I still yeah. think i still they need think me in a cage keep going go ahead i i still think that um the the next um the next fad the next cycle is going to be privacy Mm. Shut up, Tyson. I'm fucking Pride. done with you. I'm actually gonna come to your house and I'm gonna just I'm gonna f- all right, I'm gonna put all right, a fucking relax. fifty cow in your skull. All right, relax, okay. relax. Um, you're gonna anyways, come to my house. So suck me off uh, and pretend to spit. Can we uh, stop? Please? You know what? You know what? Are you circumcised? Oh god. Pause no, like pause the fucking quick. No, no. Listen, I'm gonna take a pair of scissors and I'm gonna snip it off and I'm oh, gonna fry it like a hula hoop. All right. to your cat. Obviously, this isn't going in, but do no, you, this is do going you, in. No, do no. you guys have issues with each other right now? Would you like to apologize with each other or what? Just, no, this uh, is just, sexual just a bad day for couples. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still seeing right, Ari so, for the uploads. <laughs> my horoscope is not looking good today. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, okay. to, to Jack back in. <laughs> Back Jack in, back in. Yeah, that's Jack, like, right. I'm jacking back in. You said privacy coins, right? Or insurance coins or something back in? Oh, insurance <laughs> coins. I know someone who's into insurance coins. Yeah, you're literally <laughs> saying just UNN. Oh, you said yeah. privacy coins. So SafeX, right? Or what? SafeX. Safe yeah, oh, that's yeah. right. Brie oh, Alpha. Okay, okay, can we just get back on top? Okay, okay, I'm done with this. I just restarted it. That wasn't actually it. All right, fine. Let's restart it. No, this is all going in. Okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, back to the whole Monero thing, right? Um, there's, not, there's not that many L2s or L3s that are uh, tied to Monero, and I, I do think XHV is going to become a thing. Uh, the next thing. Okay, here's the thing, right? The world is becoming more and more dystopian, and like the fun, like going back in time, 2008, right? The the Bitcoin white paper, like the like on an absolutely fundamental level, the entire purpose of it all was to be like a kind of like libertarian, like truly free, decentralized, mm-hmm. um, uh, like form of currency or like a, a like a reserve thing, you know? Yes. Um. And we we've get we've just fucking run away from that. Like apparently everyone's just kind of like, okay, yeah, it, it's basically centralized now. I'm like, hold on now. The entire like purpose of this thing from the very start was was not this. It was, yeah. it, and I think like yeah, we need to yeah, reject it's, it's, actually, modern. Actually, would be turning in his grove. We need to reject uh, modernity <laughs> and return to tra- tra- <laughs> tradition. Yeah. Okay. Well, I do think you have a point. Once once we move <laughs> all of our um assets to these centralized exchanges that are connected to our banks, aka Coinbase, we basically gave up the entire point of cryptocurrency. Not and it wasn't supposed to be like a a thousand x money making scheme. I don't think that was what was originally the idea of the creator of it. But we're there now, and I feel like this MetaMask cross chain fucking like phantom solana avax shit is like us returning back to uh off off exchange transactions and stuff like that so maybe we could keep going in that direction and get away from stuff like binance and coinbase and everything and maybe maybe we can return to tradition like you were saying also (laughs) i don't mean to be like nihilistic and shit but like i'm pretty sure like even though the original purpose was for like this libertarian fantasy or something yeah. The, the current powers that be, they're not going to allow it to be as big as it once was. Well, no, the, nature, the nature of a libertarian is to lose at everything. They to be stepped on. So what happens is <laughs> they allow corpor- me, bros. When you announce that you're a libertarian, you're basically saying, "I like when corporations do whatever they want," which which means abuse people. And they also like when the government does whatever they want, which is abuse people. They just don't like when the government tries to tell corporations how to abuse people. They're like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! The government shouldn't be able to tell corporations that." It's like, "Oh, glad you're fighting on the behalf of corporations, yeah. so they can." Like, they just, <laughs> so just corporations like, can become the government. Well, yeah, well, we're already there. We're already there. I'm, we're I'm of the opinion that, that everybody, everybody hates, everybody hates you. Doesn't want you to succeed. So that's why yeah. we here at the Pink Boys sponsor. 
Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a Hang minute. On. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, the way I look at it, it, libertarianism, it's basically like, whose boot is it anyways? And they just give you a greater <laughs> of boots to get kicked on. You might as well pick a side that at least fights one of them. That's why I'm like, if you're like some ultra-left Bernie bro, at least you're trying to fight something at some point. And that's why people like AOC occasionally... 10% of the time make a, a salient point that that might stick such 10%, as like 10 10% though? all right maybe that's being a little generous that is that is maybe being a little generous but just to uh. rewind things a little bit back i got to say myself and this comes from the same <laughs> confidential inside informant x files music starts playing that gave adam his kilt call um he gave me vader and i got to tell you you guys need to fucking get on board real quick. And it's actually pretty funny. Um, today, when that huge uh, hack happened with Grimm, I went on the Tomb Discord, and there was literally like 60 people in the voice chat. Like, <laughs> where's my money? Where's my money? And I, <laughs> I went in there, and obviously, obviously using my magnanimous words thing that I'm known worldwide for, I went in there and started talking, and I just started saying like, ha yeah, I lost my money too, ha And then some random guy was like, well, what should I buy now to make it all back? And I was just like, crack oh not I'm just like, Vader, <laughs> Vader, 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 buy Vader, Vader. And he's like, what does it do? And I was just like, uh, ohm, dow, fork, thingy, I don't know. It's got a cool logo, blah, blah, blah. So at least I showed two, at least I showed Vader to like 60 desperate people wanting to make their money back. So hopefully that does something. I can't wait for Vader to get a run for Holy tomorrow. shit, it wasn't even affected by the dump. Let's go. What wow. wasn't? Vader. Damn. No, it wasn't at all because it's actual. So here, here's my, um, I can't give an eloquent explanation as to what it does. I, I understand the concepts behind ohm forks and all of that. So it's, it's basically like a cool version of that, but it has the perfect equation. It's got a cool logo. It's got a catchy name. It's memeable. And it has an actual dev team that is breathing and known to exist. So uh -huh. it's, it's sub four cents. Why would you not go for it at that point? And on How's top of that, supposedly all the cool shit that it does is real. So it's about to burn like 40% of its supply. Israel? When it it Israel? Oh shit, it's what? about to break out. <laughs> yeah, and it looks like it's about to break out too. So you can get it on Uniswap, Mexi, and some other random shit. I forget. But it's it released Vaderons or Vaderons. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Fuck this. Right. We're gonna we're about to do this live, boys. We're gonna do this live. We're gonna sell my fucking kill tees and buy some Vaderies. And yeah, right do now. it. Do I'll it live on stream. Do it live on stream. <laughs> that's not the, I'm sure that's not the most violent oh, thing we'll be Mexi. doing on stream. Yeah, yeah. it is on Mexi. Yeah, yeah. And so they're going to be burning 40% of their supply in like the coming weeks, which is a big deal, but also because they're minting whatever their staking incentive token is. But also on top of that, they have these Vader bonds as well, which sold out in 30 minutes. I couldn't even wake up in time to get them. So I'd go for it. I mean, the, the, some people are saying 30 cents. It's at four cents now. That's a little, cents, Jesus. yeah, that's a little ambitious. I say probably a dollar or two. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jeez. It'd be like, I think 10 cents. I think 10 cents is fair. Yeah. Once it gets I'm, I'm there, gonna sell I'm 10 feeling... cents. No, what, dude? You got to be in it to. You're... I thought you were a Vader, bro. That's <laughs> not fair. <laughs> I've come you to guys the actually want like, a target thing. I'll yeah. Try and do so one now. You, guys should, you guys should take a look at that. So right. that, that... I'm doing it right now. Fuck this. Fuck this. Wait, yeah. hold on. Am I looking? Oh, I'm looking at the ETH pair. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, but it's it's <laughs> ready to roll, and it keeps trying to break, and it gets snapped a little bit by Bitcoin, but it's it's gonna keep going. So we got I got you, I got myself, you three, and those sixty desperate people in that tomb Discord. So let's keep the ball rolling here, and let's you know. <laughs> and it's so easy because it has to do with like I don't know how they're not gonna get hit for like some type of intellectual property infringement, but it literally its name is Vader, and they meme about like Darth Vader and all that that shit uh, that's so that's such good normie exposure you know what i mean uh, if it eventually got to that point so mm -hmm. coin listing is the promised land and once it gets there whoo mud on yeah you be actually like this fucking shiba coin what just fucking go to dark beta coin like that just sounds so good from a normal oh perspective God. people are gonna think we are absolutely fucking retarded and have no idea i'm in boys i'm in i'm in i just ate I a don't... fucking 50 percent loss on my kilt 
on my there kill you go. Dude, kill us down that much? I didn't know that. No, oh I don't think it's God. a hype play at all. It's not a hype play at all. It's an actual. No, 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 when I say that, I mean, I mean, like, I mean, like when when we talk, like we meme about like cool logos and stuff, and yeah, like that does stuff. That does that stuff does. Like it is indicative of a pump and stuff because this is just the market we're in. But um, I feel like a couple years ago, if we were to listen into this, we'd think we're all fucking retarded because we used to talk about actual fundamentals. Back then, we were fucking though. midwits. Yeah, like, midwits care about fundamentals. <laughs> like I was <laughs> saying last week. I, hear I me out, hear me out, hear me out. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. I'm hearing, hear I'm hearing. I'm talking about like bear market 2018 i think that there is there is something to be said about that whole midway meme about like dog coins one side dog coins the other side middle bit fundamental but i feel like some some of it changes um in the bear market um, and what we true, start we're in the bear market now so far but i'm not saying we're in a bear market or anything like that i'm just saying like during a bear market um like hype isn't 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 like the driving factor it's either fear or fundamental oh, it's fundamental for sure yeah. I mean, the only reason link is so strong in their market because it was legit it was like le it was the legit of the there, most there legit are, there is there's a few arguments for why link did so well in the bear market but i mean yeah that's like that's up there at the top i can't yeah. remember if you said this last week on or off air tyson but it kind of stuck with me the other day i don't know why but you said that like link was worth x amount in market value like i don't know what it was like 20 billion or something like that and then you said like uh -huh. that's about how much it should be worth or maybe even a little less than that did you mean that uh you meant I mean, $0, but yeah. if, if the market conditions like become really good obviously it could go higher but yeah, I just think like but the main, the 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 main distinction was that about it from a the main distinction was that standpoint. from the bear market last time it was really undervalued, and now it's it's more than it's a it's at a more appropriate level of of value. You know, it's, yeah, it's in the fucking cause... billions. So I'm just trying to say <laughs> yeah. like it maybe doesn't have the same technical drivers for you know bear market outperformance this time. Yeah, and I, I just thought that was an interesting point because it was the underdog because it's like, dude, look at all this incredible stuff that it does. And I will admit, it is an amazing piece of technology from what I am able to understand. And what oh, I've yeah, learned. for sure, for sure. Yeah, but when that amazing piece of technology is <laughs> 14 cents, you know to buy it. But when it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, 20 yeah. or $30, <laughs> it's like, eh, is it? Like, I don't know. It just, it is what it is at that point. So, yeah. <laughs> but I, I thought that was a, that was a good point. But I mean, who knows what the next fundamentals will be in the next bear market we have that'll make things pump because it's not going to be metaverse tokens and shit like that. Privacy Maybe. coins. You're really going in on that. Privacy I don't know, man. Coins. Why? Why do you think that'd be so important? Because people, okay, people want to get the fuck away before, um, uh, away from, ah, fuck. People want to get the fuck away before, um, before, uh, Globo Homo shit hits hard. I think uh, you overestimate no, 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 and, 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 old giga whales want to be able to stay in crypto. And before the, Monero before the, is a way to do that. Yeah, before the global agenda hits hard and has to, I don't know, send people to camps when they have COVID. Yeah, I, I don't think this, the, like, the salience of that idea is too, like, uh, prominent amongst, No, listen, like, mate, you're Australian, your opinion doesn't matter. You know what, that, is... Be that as it may. <laughs> Be that as it may, um, like, I, I don't know, like, in terms of, like, mass market adoption, I don't see privacy coins as being, like, dog coins, such an easy sell. Like, metaverse mm. shit, such an easy sell. You know what but, I like, realized? Like, uh, privacy coin um, enthusiasts in crypto, they're like the crypto equivalent of, like, the, the gold boomers in trade oh, mm. like Wow. <laughs> That's a good yeah. point. Nah, nah, the, gold boomers, the gold boomers are... <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, They're what? I'm trying to think of one that isn't privacy coins. Here's a question though. Since I like to counter trade I because I don't agree with what he's saying, what's the opposite of privacy coins? <laughs> public coins. Big coins. Big coins. Public, public coins. Just coins Cardano. that just. <laughs> public yeah. coins. <laughs> coins that just expose your entire identity like immediately. <laughs> actually <laughs> buying the coin and then etching your private key into it and then waving yeah, yeah. it around in a bank in public hey i'd like to purchase one bitcoin please like a little coin like an actual physical coin uh i guess i invest by public in publicity Dude, you tokens know for by sure that if the fucking cia went to like charles hoskinson to ask him to like collaborate he would say yes in a heartbeat 
Oh, immediately, dude. <laughs> These guys are What about Justin Sun? Did Justin Sun do us dirty like what? that? I love that guy because he was the original like street smart crypto scammer and he knew when to get the fuck out and he yeah. owned it. Dude. I used to he hate Justin Sun, but since yeah. the introduction of the $1 TRC20 network for any USDT transfer, holy yeah. shit, I would let him fuck me. Like, oh my what, god, what that, that saved me so much money. What is that? I don't know what that is. The TRC20 no. TRC20 network? So you know oh, if you wait. Oh, I know what that is. That's from Tron? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. It's so that's Kino, dude. Crazy. It settles in like one fucking second. It settles and it only costs one year. No Isn't big that shit old as fuck? Are you guys only just hearing about this? Yeah, but, well, it only got adopted, but it only got adopted by exchanges fairly recently. That's the yeah, difference. Yeah, yeah. When I, I, Tyson had to give me his uh, pimp money the other day and uh, it went by in like <laughs> oh, two yeah. seconds. So. <laughs> <laughs> that is impressive. That is impressive. So yeah, I actually think I actually think there's a lot of things to look up to these days. I mean, I I think Bitcoin will bottom out in the next month or so, or maybe even sooner. We got our Vaders. Adam's not going to even kill any longer. And I'll tell you what, I'll humor you guys for a few minutes. It does look like people are starting to talk about Link again, semi seriously. So oh my god, nah, let's not. I'm not even gonna do this. I, I will no. say this: night from the 19th tomorrow, we're gonna get a pump, and then just get the fuck out before like the 28th of December. Damn, oh. even my okay. tomb, okay. even That's your totally... tomb easier. Just no. get the fuck out before the end of this year. I'm talking about before passive, New Year. My passive incomings. <laughs> no, no, guys, you're gonna see some blood, and it's gonna be beautiful if you can. Is show that insider it. information? Uh, no, no one no. truly knows. But... I mean, it's 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 an opinion I've derived from a lot of other opinions, along with my own TA. <laughs> it was a real opinion. It's not financial. I'm inside advice. her, and I'm giving you this information. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> it was real in my mind. <laughs> yeah, it's real in my mind, and it's all that matters because it came to me in a dream. And you know what? You know what? Fair Prophecies enough. are legit. Actually, they are self self fulfilled prophecies, and it's so funny because that's how uh, limiting beliefs work. If you believe that you're going to be a basket case weirdo making fucked up mm. decisions, then you're going to do them, like me, within the past year and a half. You know, that's an so. interesting thing. You, it's an interesting thing you just said there. Yesterday, I was reading this thing about how nowadays in society, a lot of people tend to um, like they indulge in escapism, so they can like with fictional characters, so they can kind of. Like live vicariously through them and be content with their own life not being that great by you know kind mm -hmm. of experiencing all this good shit for other people like you know they are you i mean you guys know a lot of people tend to derive their morals from fucking avengers and all that shit nowadays of course. But, um yeah anyway this was followed up by um this guy making a point saying that um when you kind of in your own head if you larp as like a like a like a better future version of yourself because that's quite literally like you, um, like, yeah, like instead of instead of kind of instead of kind of like it being escapism, you're actually gonna like subconsciously embody those traits and values and like end up becoming that person. <laughs> so like. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm really yeah, fucking bad at explaining things. If people don't have a set personality and goals. They become engulfed by what they see externally. Right, right. And people have people protection. nowadays. People nowadays, whether it be through like from some childhood shit or maybe it's social media, like they have a lot of um like issues of self image, um mm -hmm. and like not that many people. Like if you take the average person off the street, like they would not believe that they could actually make it. Like you take your average like nine to five like wagey, like, you know, went to college, blah blah blah, like you know, kind of content with the NPC life or whatever, so to say. Like they 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 don't have that belief that they can really like do this, and they can. I I genuinely believe that everyone in the world is capable of greatness. And it's well, just, okay. like this. We yeah, all fucking been white. Okay, Mr. White Pill, holy shit! Like, yeah, well, come on. Like, fair, I, don't or... think, I don't think like the majority of people want to make it in that sense, though. It, I think it a lot of people what, generally what do just want like, of, like, a, like, a, a a white collar job and just a house. But yeah, that's, that's fine. If that if that's your definition of make it, like people that are struggling to even do that, they can get to that point as well. It's I'll all tell you about... what, Ari, I think you're making a really good point because I've been unco like so. I'm one of those people where I went to college and I got a normal job and I'm like, this is what I'm doing, and I just like worked and like, and that was my thing. 
And after I started doing more normal person stuff, like get promotions and buy a house and like do all do all those things. Once you start randomly running into a bunch of money in crypto, or in this case, like Tyson and I were talking about, make passive income, which is in some cases larger than your salary doing nothing, you start to learn that you don't have to do these normal things that you're doing. And there's actually a chance and maybe the chance mm. is what ends up hurting you in the end, but it, it makes you uncomfortable in your current situation because you're like, wait, do you start to like wake up a little bit? You're like, wait, do I have to be in this office all day? Or do I want this house? Or do I like it, it really like changes your perceptions when you're able to randomly make money out of nowhere doing like you nothing. You just need and, that initial push yeah. and like you'll realize, yeah. yeah, I can actually fucking do this. Like, But it's it's healthy and unhealthy at the same time because it gives you unhealthy expectations, but it's also healthy because it makes you realize you can do more with your life than what you're doing right now. It kind of motivates honest, I don't even think it's that bad to be like completely and utterly deluded. I mean, there is a point where it becomes like really fucking stupid. Like, yeah, of course. But like, I, I don't even think it's like a bad thing for someone to like want to have a lamb or something because you know what oh, that's stupid. if they really no no if they really really do want that badly if that's really it then you know what to get to that point they have to go through these hurdles anyway so like whatever the fuck it is like so long as it like genuinely like motivates you and has you like envisioning this future like it's good enough that's and like then, that book, The Secret, where it's like, if you just imagine it, but yeah. you're being more articulate. I mean, I'm, I'm just personally of the view that, like, just fucking, if you want it bad enough, you'll get it. Well, and, you know when Ziz said yeah, that, it, you know, we're right, going to make it, bro. No, that's fucking it, you know? Stop with yeah. that. Oh, that's so gay. <laughs> Oh um, no, come on. But no. you know what's even gayer is when people do the same thing and try and compare it to like Elon Musk. <laughs> no, no, no. Fuck Elon. But Ziz is the way. Oh, come on. Tyson, actually, back actually, here. Speak, speaking of Elon, I have a bone to pick with, uh, with Moyer. Wow, <laughs> so a couple of episodes ago, uh, I think I remember Moyer saying like, Elon is, on, a, is, a, is a scammer. Or he's a, he's, a cho yeah. he's a scam artist or something. And I'm wondering yeah. why you think that. Because I, I look at Elon's accomplishments and I really don't see how he's he's a scammer. What a con! Well, first off, didn't anything he buy like Tesla and then like kick out the founders or something? Like he's still the central like focus of Tesla though. Like it, without him, they he bought Tesla before they had the first prototype, and it was because of his engineering that they were able to create the first prototype and, and bring it oh, to because he production. did some like Tony Stark bullshit in a lab. Tony Stark <laughs> built Tesla in a cave. Like, like what? Jarvis, <laughs> make the electric car right now. <laughs> SpaceX is just a bunch of bullshit that he's barely even involved with intellectually. Tesla is only successful <laughs> because there's engineers at the helm of it that actually keep things in line outside of him trying to fuck up the stock price with stupid tweets. What the hell is the underground car driving shit that I will literally never That's amount such to anything? A stupid fucking the idea. Time whole tunnel. No, 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 no. From our federal how, government. How, no, 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 that tunnel thing is so stupid. The tunnel thing is stupid. stupid and okay. Yeah, I will okay. admit tunnel thing is retarded, but how is SpaceX not like a, a massive fucking accomplishment? Like, no, no, do you guys realize that? Accomplishment. I'll say that. Like, like, SpaceX realize... itself is cool. No, 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 you guys, re you guys realize that, that the price of like launching something in space before SpaceX was like one billion. Yeah, but dude, that's not that's of, not because that, of no, no, SpaceX. No, no, no. You, you, you need to separate the Elon from like these. Million. That's talented people. Yeah, yeah. 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 You need Besides, to separate Elon from like these talented by engineers every, and buying stuff. Every big project has to have a leader at the helm that has the vision to to shape it in that manner. You know, of course, like he's okay, got fucking you know, engineers you know, the to work issue with. We're walking into here now. The issue we're walking into here now is the Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak kind of thing. Well, that is true, Steve and Job I was actually Steve Jobs. I was going to bring up Steve Jobs for a second, but just real real quick, Tyson, on top of all of those other things that I just have an issue with besides blatantly, like, the thing is, Elon Musk himself on Twitter as a billionaire and the things he says are hilarious and great, and I love that. The Elizabeth Warren stuff, all that. As a character, he's amazing. But there are so many more talented people accomplishing things at Tesla yeah. and SpaceX that are keeping it in line while he's doing all this ridiculous bullshit. Those are the people that I more respect. Meanwhile, he's like telling, like, okay, here's the moment where I realized he was completely full of shit was when those stupid kids in like Chile or Somalia or some shit were like stuck in a cave and everyone's like, oh, these poor 30 kids that, that were cave diving for whatever reason. Like, I hope they fucking died anyways. That How was dumb in Thailand. That? that was the case. You're so exactly. wrong. 
and he made up some stupid thing about how he was going to invent some like little submarine rotor thing that would like go save yeah, them. You know, like, and he called one of the rescuers a pedophile. Yeah. So th that's that that small instance is the dichotomy of why I do and don't like Elon Musk. I don't like him because he makes up a bunch of dumb technical shit and doesn't deliver on it. But then he does base stuff like call a guy a pedophile for no reason. I don't know. I mean, to me, I, I look at this as something like. I look at this as, as someone saying, like, okay, well, Alexander the Great didn't conquer anyone because he had people to fight for him. Like, of course he had people to fight for him. Like, if he didn't win any of his battles, like, by himself. There was a, there was a movement behind him, you know? Like, like I sure, think that's a, he doesn't, like, I get in the details between, like, that's a very between, like, fucking the, the rocket boosters and SpaceX. But, like, if, if he wasn't there to, like, push the vision itself, like, it wouldn't have existed in the first place. You know. So well, there's the other issue as well. My right. issue with him is that his fucking this persona he has, this this I fucking hate it. But it's exacerbated by this whole like fucking Marvel hype shit that's been going on the past decade. Like this, like he Spider the whole Tony Stark thing. Oh like, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I hate that. It's so cringe. And it's so funny. <laughs> Keep going. If you have anything else, no, it's, it's just cringe. Go yeah, on. I was gonna it's, say it's kind of died down though. Like Reddit hates. Elon a lot more now like they they despise him that's because they view him as a right-leaning figure even though he probably leans left in every social regard except for monetary so which is basically a libertarian pussy but whatever it it's fine i think he's funny and everything but i, I just reminded me when he was talking about how people mold their personalities after like marvel characters and stuff oh i repeat God. phrases in my head sometimes like what's the one that thanos is like the hardest choices require the strongest of wills. <laughs> I like that quote. It's like, whoa, sometimes so deep, I'm, bro. Sometimes when I'm making tough choices, I think about that, and I'm just like, I'm a fucking loser. <laughs> oh, so, no, no, no. <laughs> read but, a fucking book, dude. <laughs> uh, no, oh, trust me, I've read plenty of books, and I've been recommended some great books, but that aren't yeah, Star yeah. Wars comics, I promise. But <laughs> you said Steve Jobs' name, and my brother-in-law uh -huh. said something the other week that I thought was <laughs> very prescient. He said that Steve Jobs must be rolling in his fucking grave these days when he sees what Apple is doing. They literally just release a different sized square every year. <laughs> that you know what? You know what? Actually, I, want, I do have something to say about this. Yeah. Um, I think the biggest issue with Apple, and uh, I've been like looking into this. Like, so okay, so late recently I bought. I haven't bought an Apple product in like fuck knows how long it's probably it's been over a decade but i bought the new um the new one of the new macbook pros because they're just that fucking amazing but okay what okay so here's the thing john ivy okay he's the he's like the designer he does like all the um like the um like the design work right okay. and ever since steve jobs died without steve jobs sort of uh overseeing what he does the guy's basically like fucking cucked like performance and like battery life and all of that shit in favor of design and as a result over the past decade essentially like um like actual performance and battery life and all of that shit and actual like useful features like actually like the useful features they all took a back seat just so things can look like designer fucking laptops and shit really um, hmm. yeah and as and um like i think this year or last year or whatever he was fucking fired Someone else took over the design oh, team. He was fired? And then yeah. all of a sudden, all of a sudden, like iPhones are now efficient and they have like much bigger batteries and they're they're optimized now. The new MacBooks have all the ports back. They're like massively more powerful now. Awesome. They actually make use of their battery. They last for fucking ages now. They're like like the rate of innovation of uh, within like Apple in the past two years is fucking insane. Like yeah, they that went is... from they went from having like the old MacBook Pros. They'd like overheat beyond belief and they'd last for like three hours and they couldn't do fuck all. And like the actual, like, like the performance metrics haven't like, like the performance scores haven't like improved in like, in like, ten, I'm saying like a lot <laughs> in like 10 <laughs> years or so. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, after John Ivy left, they came up with their own silicon and shit and shit just literally, like, literally performance 10x, battery life 10x, value 10x. That yeah. is pretty cool because they desperately needed that because like back in the day, 
Steve Jobs introduced these like innovative organic machines that were so interesting. Like the MacBooks were so interesting, the iPod touch and like the yeah. iTouch and like everything was so cool and different. And like, you didn't get it. Like when the iPad first came out, I was like, what the fuck is the point of that? And then mm. it just made so much sense. They're not like that anymore. They're not innovating. And like, hopefully, like you said, the last few years, maybe, maybe they'll start to come out, like come out with a camera or no, no one uses digital cameras anymore. Come out with a car. I don't <laughs> fucking know. Like, Ooh, you can do something. That's why I don't work at Apple because I don't know anything. But you know what? I, <laughs> they need to innovate a little bit. So, but I, yeah, I appreciate. Yeah. You I mean, that Apple's up. always been the company that reinvents things really well. At least that's what they were supposed to be. Yeah, instead of now, instead of just reinventing the same phone every single year. But mm. it is. I will it say, is. no matter like how cool some of the shares that they've come up with, and like how much they've innovated the industry, I will stand by the fact that the iPhone is probably one of the worst inventions. Uh, humanity has ever well as a, oh, as a social net. media social media like though. the consequences yeah. of the iphone have been fucking horrifying as a the uh, human race have you guys seen that video where like um mm -hmm. this this kid in like 1984 records his uh his his pit stop at 7-eleven where he just records yeah. like him having fun with like um all these like random strangers it's like yes. such a black pill that that like that doesn't that doesn't exist anymore yeah no nah, i really mean, you can that. try like, and it, do it looks it, so but... wholesome like back then yeah. jesus mm, there's a certain reason why it is and i can't say it on air but i'll, I'll catch you in the <laughs> on the after hour <laughs> <laughs> subscribe you to the what? patreon I'll, to find out i'll reel it in and end it there before it gets a little any crazier so uh <laughs> all i can say in closing is adam i'm really glad you got rid of your kilt that was getting embarrassing everyone yeah. by Vader, and you guys say i got anything real quick to say go, go ahead adam you first um, my vades stay no. super oh, fuck fucking off. No, you do cozy. this every time you buy a new bag. And <laughs> I'll see you guys at the top. All, All right, we'll, uh, we'll let you work on that till next week. I right, what do you? All right. Uh... All right, Tyson, what do you have? <laughs> uh, long index, long Polana, and imagine not having a fucking Rolex. <laughs> A <laughs> All right. Later, guys. <laughs> <laughs>